What's going on guys and welcome back to the most spectacular read-throughs of all times. I am, I don't know what just happened to my voice. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself because my voice has decided not today. <clears throat> not today. <laughs> Anyways, let's try this again. <clears throat> What's going on guys and welcome back to the most spectacular read-throughs of all times. I am the big cliche. I am big uh, Papa Pump without the pump. I am the rock uh, that is never hard. King Kong got a lot on me i am t b r terabyte reacts and i would just like to say you're welcome welcome back guys to the one and only berserk manga read through we doing big things over here today we're going to be doing volume 13 and you already know what we do over here. We do a quick, um, we've started to do a quick review of the last volume before we jump into what we're going to do today. So we're going to review chapter 12, volume 12, I mean, um, and then we're going to jump into volume 13. Okay. So I'm going to be watching keenly for feedback in this one so if you see me stop during the read through and just be looking at the screen like <laughs> like you know looking out into space that is me checking to see if there's currently feedback going on because sometimes it does miss me in the last read through i did there was feedback and i had to i th i don't think it was for berserk i think it was for ippo um so ippo is also i, I think i'm gonna be doing that read through today too but we'll see we'll see how things all things turn out um because everything is out everything is kind of back on schedule i actually need to put up that schedule for this week but yes let's review so instead of me just sitting here talking about you know or trying to remember rather of what happened in volume 12 Let's just go back and look at it for ourselves. I do the review pretty quickly. So those panels I usually use, I usually leave open when I upload the YouTube video so that you guys can kind of see me browse through it. It's not that big a deal because I'm kind of rushing through the panel. So it's not that big a deal. I can show snippets on YouTube if they, you know, come at me for that then it is what it is. I'll take it down or re-upload the video, whatever the situation is. But the review, you can see very well on YouTube. So let's switch over to our screens and go to volume 12. And let's start the review. Okay. Okay. So in the last chapter, I mean, some of these titties got to go. <laughs> I forgot there was a lot of, there was, there was a lot of nudity. So there, there was a lot of nudity in this volume. So I'm probably going to have to blur, blur out some of, some of that stuff. If I remember to do it, doing editing, but we're going to scroll through anyway. So let's do this review. So we know the God hand showed up. Okay. We know the God hand showed up in the last, um, the eclipse happened, you know, okay. So this, they're. Um, when they were talking about it, you know, Corcus, you know, they're wondering what's going to happen with Griffith and stuff like that. Griffith is still looking pathetic. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying pathetic, not in a really bad way, but the way how he looks, he just looks, he's a shell of his former self. And just looking at him, you know, of all the stuff that he's, that he's been through since the incident, that happened between him and Charlotte. It's just heartbreaking, man. It's really, it really is heartbreaking. But, you know, his purpose is here now. So in, in my opinion, you know, some people made some very valid points um, in the comment section on YouTube. 
you know, about, about, you know, why Griffith chose to go with the God hand or chose to kind of sacrifice his friends, you know, cause you know, based on what he said, you know, in the past, you know, is that uh, is like um guts is the only one that made him forget his goal you know what i'm saying so him being reminded of that you know what i mean so we have them here um you know the situation and you know griffith seeing the interaction between casca and guts and i think that kind of played into his decisions also you know i do believe that so you know this is a beautiful um, drawing here of our um, couple in love, you know what I mean? So that was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, so Casca um, had decided, right? Um, he, he, you know, Griffith threw himself uh, at Casca. Um, I, I don't, I, I, I nez. In a way, I, I didn't really understand this scene if he was trying to see if, she, you know, if she still felt that way about him. Or I, 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 this scene is very, it's very, in a way, confusing. And it's in a good way, it's confusing because the, the love between them was never, it was, it was never showed up. In, in, in the manga. You get what I'm saying? It was always like Casca like behind the scenes kind of looking at him a certain way. Um, we have the, 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 the scene of where she met him and stuff like that and the interactions that they've had in the past. But we uh, but we there was no clear direction as to where their relationship is other than just you know, her just being part of the band of the Hawk and her being a commander, basically. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, like, she being second in command, I should say. So, there was no clear indication, like how they've established the relationship between her and Guts. There was no clear indication. So, I'm wondering, throughout this scene right here, he kind of threw himself at her. If he was saying, is she going to show me back love? You know, because he can, he can, he can't really move. You know what I mean? So that was very, I think that played into her decision to, to stay and not go with Guts because, you know what I'm saying? So. We have Jadu and Guts having that great conversation that they always have. You know, and Jado is always telling him, you should take her. You should take her with you. Don't leave her. You know, because it's it's pretty obvious, you know. So the others also, there was a certain part of the crew that wanted to go with Guts too. Because, you know, they believe in him. They feel like their purpose, their purpose not is. I mean, if you're going to take Casca, why not? You know what I'm saying? Like, they go with them. But that's the thing. Like, I, I, I think... The band of the hawk kind of at this point i feel like they need to be disbanded even though they're friends they should remain friends but kind of like you know find something better to do than you know plunder <laughs> you know what i mean so that's just my opinion um I'm, I'm saying they're not really like their crew just constantly being pulled apart like this it's time it's sometimes signs are telling you to do something you know what i mean so this is when Casca is telling him he, he, he she can't go with him, you know, um, saying that Griffith is fragile, so she can't leave him like this, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe maybe that's what Griffith was trying to do is trying to tell her, I can't afford to lose you too if Guts leaves, you know what I'm saying? In certain ways, so we'll see, you know. So I think after that, um, so yeah. That was pretty cool. So, I think this is where um, he started having the, whether it's an hallucination or whether it was real, you know, he started remembering when he, when he was a little boy, he took off in the, in the carriage or whatever with the horse. Um, and then we have, you know, the, the, the flashback stuff, you know what I'm saying? 
Um, and he also had a dream of living with Casca um, and them having a son too, I think, called Guts, if I remember correctly. Right? This was... I thought he died right here. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I thought he died, but it just kind of grazed him, you know. I think he wanted to die. And then the behelith found his way back to him, you know. And now we have... So he remembers when Nosferatu said to him, It will return to your hand because that's how it is. Okay? So we have that. And then, I think this is where the eclipse started. You know, after Guts caught up with him and stuff. And the eclipse started. The dead started coming out of the ground. You know. You know. And then the face appeared on the behelot. It was crying blood. It was crazy. It was, it was just crazy. It was eerie. It was, you know, goosebumps. All over, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, all right. This is this this part of the manga. I did not recognize this kid. As somebody was telling me in the comment section that this is Rickert, and I'm like Rickert. <laughs> like I really had to take a look at this person again because you know sometimes when you don't recognize a person out of what you usually see them in you get what i'm saying so them telling me that this is recurred when i'm when i obviously was thinking because at first i was like are you spoiling me right now you know what i'm saying because that's what i was thinking at first like this person is kind of sp spoiling me but then when i think about it i was like nah i should have recognized them because i went back and i looked at it i was like oh shit that is recurred but the the i didn't know that Rickert survive the incident. I thought that whole entire crew got wiped out. I did not know that Rickert survived. Okay, so that's why I was thinking if this person is spoiling me right now because, but he's saying, no, you should have recognized, I should have recognized Rickert. It is him. But outside of his uniform, I think if he was in his uniform, I would have recognized him and nobody called him by name. Also, so I didn't realize, okay? So, right? So, and and the thing about it too, Rickert met um, Puck. So that's another thing too, with him having that conversation with Puck, right? Right? So this is a situation now where we have, this is Puck here, right? So, I don't know if he's met Puck or not. That's the thing, too. Like, because cause here we have him, um, Puck saying, um, won't you see him off? And this person is saying, see him off? You got to be kidding. So, I'm guessing that Rickard has some sort of relationship with Puck. Like, he knows Puck now. So, okay. So, so this person was looking in the crystal ball, kind of trying to explain what was going on with the eclipse and stuff like that. Right. So he took off and we finally get the puck introduction into the story. Um, you know, we already knew he existed, but, you know, <laughs> the backstory. Anyways. All right. So they go back to, you know, guts still trying to save guts. You know, he started crying blood. It's crazy. Right? The eclipse, 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 the, you know, all of that stuff. And then I'm going to try to <laughs> try to try to come through this part a little bit faster so we don't see them tatas, you know, them tatas. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, so the God Hand appears. And of course, in their grand fashion, this must have been epic in the anime no doubt must have been epic their entrance must have been epic in the manga in the anime if they did do this backstory in the anime 
right so we have all of that stuff going on blah 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 and we know they're here we see some cheeks and of course we have the manipulation of you know them trying to remind griffith of who he is or who he wanted to be he wanted to be you know the, that dude he wanted to be that dude all right and they wanted him to choose to sacrifice his friends, which he did. So the, everybody started getting branded. Another thing that I was wondering too, did um, did Casca get branded? That's what I want to know. We don't know if she has a brand. We know Guts has a brand in the future, which he survived this eclipse somehow. So we're going to get to, I'm guessing we're going to get to see how everything turns out in in volume 13 so that's something that i am wondering if casca did get branded too we know he got branded it seems like everybody that got branded got sacrificed to be eight and for him to for griffith to ascend right i think at one point griffith was kind of trying to hold on and right here <laughs> look at this were they trying to eat him here? Yeah, they were holding on to him. They were, they were trying to eat his arm there or something or hold on to him. Griff, um, guts fell. And, of course, the epic image right here. This imagery is awesome. So, Griffith is supposed to be the fifth. So, he's supposed to complete the God Hand. If I'm not mistaken, he's supposed to be the fifth because it seems like there's only four of them. So... He has to be the fifth. I don't know if they lost a fifth guy. The, I don't know if they lost the fifth guy or this was just in the works from the beginning and they're just now identifying the fifth guy. Right? So, because it seems like it's only three of them here standing. I don't know if this, I don't know if this is one of them floating maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Because one of them can f float. Yeah, it's four of them. This is one, two. And this guy is floating over the finger. So, yeah. So, he's supposed to be the fifth. Okay. So, kind of trying to make him um, see that what he's always wanted was to be on top. Was to get to that, you know, castle. You know, even if you got to step on these corpses, you know what I'm saying? You got to step over your friends and get to your goal, you know? I love the imagery that they portrayed to him, you know, but at the same time, you know, at the same time, it's very eerie because, you know, so see that um, that is you. And it was like, it is no illusion. It's the reality within your conscious realm. I in the castle in the sky, taking it by piling up corpses endlessly. That is you over thousands of your comrades' corpses, over those corpses with no identities, no names. You have trampled as you came with but one desire in mind. Right? So, yep. And they reminded him. Right, still wants to get there. You shall be granted raven black wings upon which you shall soar in the heavens higher than any summit. And Guts is screaming out to him, You're the only one who made me forget my dream. Right, ah. <sighs> And the promised time has come. Everybody started getting this mark. So I am thinking that Casca got the mark too. Because I think this is the mark being put on them. See, if you can see it right here, you see that he got the brand. And, right, the feast started. Okay. You know. All this blood and stuff. But the thing about it is that I never saw her 
on any of the panels getting the brand. That's why I was saying, was did she get the brand or not? You know, we know Guts got his. We saw him got his. So, it was, it, it, it's just to me, like, I don't know what's going to happen next, of course. You know, but it's like, it has been determined. And then we saw Rickard again at the end, seeing, I think, Nosferatu going up against that skeleton dude on the horse. I don't know what is happening here. And it is very confusing that he saw this fight going on. I don't know why this fight is going on. So I'm guessing we're going to open up volume 13 with this. That was a very long, <laughs> I took a very long time to review that, but it's worth it, man. It's worth it to go back and see what's really happening, you know? So let me open up. You know, let me open up this um, volume 13 and we can continue with this. And it, it, it's all right. So I'm so I'm back. I'm back. There was some feedback there. So I'm probably going to cut off some of that before we get into. So what I was saying before I realized I was having feedback Um let me repeat myself yeah somebody told me to slow down um yeah somebody told me to slow down you know taking the taking the panels a, a bit better you know so i'm gonna try to slow down so this might be a longer read through i try to get through the read through in two hours okay i tried to do this in two hours you know what i'm saying i that's the time limit that i have to do read throughs when I actually do them. It's two hours. If I go over two hours, so be it, so be it sometimes if I do have the time, but I try to keep it under two hours. Okay. Um, so yeah, so we have Nosferatu, the man himself, Zod. Okay, so Rickard recognizes him, right? And say, Why is Zod in a place like this? Right. And then that's OK. So I think this is the guy that demolished his crew. OK. You know, this the skeleton guy. And he's like, oh. So the same. So he recognizes him, too. He's like the same from. What the hell's going on around us? All of us. Hmm. So here's Zod talking now. He says, hmm, so you did come. You would have been our foe for a millennium. I figured you wouldn't let this chance slip past. And then the skeleton guy responds, and you were given the command to guard the gate, immortal one. Nosferatu responds, hardly. I have no interest in their indulgent spree. What I seek are the strong. You should know that, old rivals. So they're rivals, okay. Void, and skeleton guy responds, Void would say that this too lies within causal <laughs> causality's current. Very well. I wager myself upon my sword. Nesferatu is huge, bro. <laughs> Look at him. You know what I mean? So we got this. Nice, really nice shot there. And I'm guessing, oh, who are these people? I think this is back. Oh, damn. They're tearing those people apart. This is back at the, 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 the eclipse, right? Where guts them at. Casca is just standing there. She is dumbfounded, just watching her friends get eaten. Um, so they cry out to her, Big Sis, she's just standing there. It's about to get eaten. What? So, okay, so it went after him, and Pippin saves her. She's like, Pippin. And Pippin says, run. 
Don't tell him Pippen going to sacrifice himself, man. All right? He cries out Pippen again. Go, run, run. You have to survive. What are you saying? Ah, uh, who is this? Who is this? Somebody's about to grab her. Oh, it's Jado. Okay. So Jado grabs Casca. It's like, what are you doing, Jado? It's like, let let go, Pippins. So she says, let let go. Pippins and she's like, yo, we can't leave Pippin, but Jado is like, no, we gotta go. So Jado looks like he shot some some um some daggers some arrowheads or something some daggers i would say at the demon that's fighting pippin pippin did he did he break free it's like pippin so pippin is still there and Casca is still saying, go back, Jado. You're just going to let him die? And Jado cries out, it's no use. And he says, you have to survive. You're our leader now. You must go on living. As long as our leader is alive, we aren't finished. You think, you think I'm going to let it all end like this? And they're, they're taking off. She starts crying. Man, these demons aren't playing games. They're, they're just gobbling. They are eating dudes. What are you going to do, Corcus? You're not going to dip? It's like, Captain, they're crying out to Corcus. He starts to run. Finally. You grab after him. Oh, messed up his back. I mean, I'm not a Corcus fan, but I don't want to see him go out like this. He turned around and sees like three, three of them coming after him. Oh, he fell over the hill, falls down into a ditch, some other dead bodies, it seems. Corker's trying to get out of there, still seeing his friends die, but he dipping. <laughs> this man is like a black man out here. He out. <laughs> he like, I ain't staying to see nothing else. We out on foot. He dipping. That adrenaline cat. <laughs> that adrenaline kicked in, bruh. He like, I'm out. It's like a dream. It must be a dream. This is all a bad dream. Look, here's proof. It, it it don't hurt a bit. Nope. Yeah, that that junk hurts. He's like, hey, wake up, me. Enough's enough. I think he cut himself. To say that it doesn't hurt a bit. Um, but still, where the hell did I come up with this dream? Midland, the band of the hawk. It ain't for. It ain't far-fetched for it all to be a dream. When you think about it, it was way too good to be true for me anyway. So yeah, it's all a dream. This is a dream. I'll wake up and it'll all be over. I'll wake up and I'll be nobody again. Oh, wait a minute. He's, he sees a... A girl, a naked girl walking towards him. Okay. It's like, ah, oh, looky here. A woman in hell. I knew this was a dream. <laughs> it's like, damn it. Damn it. Why a guy like me? He, he, <laughs> a guy like me, this man is being seduced. He's like, damn it. This man's like, damn me. Oh.
This is not what he was expecting. I guarantee you that. <laughs> this was not what he was expecting at all. <laughs> Yo, these I this is probably a succubus too. He's like, damn it, no. Anyways, we're gonna take a break here. Come back for another part. So this doesn't apply to you YouTube people, but this applies to my Patreon people. So here we go. Storm of Death Chapter 2. Right? Storm of, Storm of Death Part 2, I should say. So we still have Jado and Casca dipping out of there. Like why, why she's asking why she's like, is this hell? Did we sin that much? Ooh, that's, that's, you know, some, there's certain simple things that happen in this manga that I really like. And as, as, as I was saying before, I, I don't know if I got, you know, if I said it clear enough to you guys for you guys to understand, because I was kind of, kind of mumbling while I was trying to find you know, where I had the volume stored. Um, but the parallels, man, and the things that they ask is is very sometimes a very serious question. As simple as they were, they are. You know what I'm saying? Like, you would be asking this question as a human being, seeing something like this happening right before your eyes. Is this hell? Did we sin that much? You know what I'm saying? to see hell on earth like this you know what i mean so is this where our bloodstained journey comes to an end or is this really the nightmare you wanted i wonder who she i wonder if she's i wonder if she's talking about griffith if you know answer me yes she is talking to griffith she said answer me answer me griffith right Okay, so we got them still running, trying to get away, getting attacked again. Oh, Jado got hurt. Jado got hurt. Who? What is this? <laughs> these designs of these demons is not a joke, bro. What is that? What? What is this? A chicken? What? What is this? Oh my God. But it looks like um, Jado did something. What is what is what did he do? Unless he tripped, maybe maybe the thing just tripped on his own. Kind of looks like he, he did something, but he probably didn't do anything. But Jado, right side. Oh, she's warning him. She he looks over his shoulder. <laughs> This guy got mouth for eyes. Who's designing these demons? Bruh. He got his arm. It got his arm, bro. Look at this. Casca takes her knife out. Uh, not her knife. She takes out Judo's knife. Stabs the demon, but his arm is already gone. Or it was just a bite. Oh my god, it was just a bite. He didn't take the, the arm. He didn't take the arm, but there's another one still right there. Or it's the same one. It's the same one, bro. It's like, are you alright, Jado? And he's like, yeah, you saved me. But his arm is fucked up. It's like, that's enough. Let's just go back. Jado is like, no way. It's the, it's the same. Wherever we run, they'll follow us. However far we go. We don't even know if there's an exit. It's like, at least, at least let's fight beside everyone to the end. And Jado is like, shut up. You'll bite your tongue. She's like, Jado. 
And he's like, struggle. Keep struggling and struggling until the end of ends. Then struggle some more. There's no fighting just to die. There's no fighting just to die. And he's like, that's what... That's what I'd say if I were him, right? She looks down because he knows he's talking about... She's talking about... Who is he talking about? Is he referring to Griffith or Guts? Could be Guts. I'm not sure. I'm not going to assume, but I think he's... I think he's talking about Guts, but it could be Griffith too. You know? Right? As I move my entire display... <laughs> you know anyways right so we have let's go back to this page because i don't know what's happening it looks like bro did he come from underground to eat up the horse because this looked like a big mouth right bro did he like just come from underground or was he, he looked like a shadow right here. Oh, did he come from up top? What, what is, did he, is he a shadow that just appeared? Like that's crazy. Yeah, he's, yeah, it's a big mouth about to eat him up. Right, so of course the horse, they tumble off of the horse because the horse is now being eaten. And she's like, you know. Because his arm is messed up. So we got. Okay. I'm guessing that's the thing standing up. Uh, weird. It can be a shadow. And. Uh, uh, man. Okay. So something came in clutch. Seems like it hit the thing in the head. Or they're just sitting there staring at it. But it looks like something hit it in the head or something. Right? Oh! Oh! They went for him and he, he, he blocked it. Jado, are we going to lose Jado, bro? And Kasuke is like, you don't have to. Nah, man, he's trying to save you. Brush, he turned around. It's like stupid. Move, move it. Cause he's trying to save her. And oh He's like, why? That's enough. Stop it. That's her like crying out. It's like at this rate, at this rate, you'll Oh my god, he got hit. Bruh, they gonna take out Judo like this? Bruh, he's, they're supposed to get away. They're not gonna do Judo like this, man. He's, he, he, he got stabbed through the back. He's like, my last, my last one. So he threw his last dagger. Hit it, he hit it in the eye. He hit it in the eye. Let's see what happened. And he, he tumbles over. She goes for the sword. And cuts it open. Okay. All right. Casca trying to get some work in. Got um, Judo. So she kills it, it seems. And then Judo, she's trying to figure out what's going on with him. Okay. So she's like, did it hit my last knife? Oh, this is Judo talking. He's like, did it hit my last knife? And she said, yeah, it hit. You killed it. But he's he's messed up. I don't know what the hell that was. I can't even get my words out. He's like, now go. Telling her to leave him. And she's like, what? What, what are you saying? Didn't you just say we'd struggle to the very end? So she's picking him up. She's like, now on your feet, no complaining. I'm taking you if I have to drag you. It's like, unlike guts, I'm kind and fragile. <laughs> I'm, ki I'm kind of fragile. Okay, no need to shout. I'll stay with you even if I got to crawl. I shouldn't have 
said all that. And she says, yeah, you bet you're coming with me. Take re responsibility for what you say. And he's like, I'm all talk after all. But you are messed up, my friend. But it looks like he's dying. Because this is his, he's looking at her. He's like, really? If you've got time to shoot your mouth off, step it up. And he says, I've always tried to be a smooth talker. Damn. But in the end, I miss my chance to say it. To tell you that important thing. But now, you sure do cry a lot. You know, these must be my last words. These must be my last words. Although personally, I always thought I was a bit smoother than that. Fuck. <sighs> Jido, man. Bruh, Jido has become, became one of my favorite characters. They just kill him. Bruh. He just falls out of her arms. And I think he, he probably was in love with her. I think maybe that's what I'm thinking, by the way, how what he was saying. And he's like, she's like, you know, she, she can't believe it. With And the demons are still chasing her. Look at these, man. She's surrounded. She's grab him. She can't even do anything. She just grabs the sword. And just, she gonna go in. Damn. First swing, they caught it. Caught it in the mouth. One of the demons. Wow. Wow. That's all I can say is wow. And they're all saying sacrifice, a sacrifice. Sacrifice, woman sacrifice. Eat now, sacrifice. Eat her now, sacrifice. Before that... Before that sacrifice, yes, before, before, and she's thinking about guts. Bro, they're all, what is this? They're all stripping her armor? They're stripping off her armor. Oh, man, Jado. R.I.P. Jado, man. That's all I can say, man. Uh, so, okay, so Guts is still over here going in. God of the Abyss. <laughs> okay, so Guts is going in over here against these demons, using their own horns against them. We all know Guts get it in. Okay, he's over here fighting and fighting. Getting knocked around. He's stabbing them though. I don't know what is that. But he's got a horn or something. It seems. Stabbing these dudes. Taking them out. He's going in. And then. Okay so. Alright so. They're like. Hmm. And the lady, we don't really know their names yet. Did they say their names in the in the introduction? I don't think they did. Unless I missed it. I don't think they said their names. So I don't know what to call the, um, the members of the God Hand. I don't know what to call them. So I think they did, man. If I'm not mistaken, I'm, I probably just don't remember. But I think they did introduce them with names. But I'm not sure. So... This one, the woman one, says, the boy does do his best. It's ironic, though. The stronger his life force and the greater his anguish. The more they become precious bread for the new life of darkness. Sweet dreams, blessed child. Until now, you have been a dream called Griffith. And when that dream ends, you will awaken into a dream from which you'll never wake. In a night that will never break. 
and Guts is still going in over here. Wow. He's biting them too. This man ain't playing games, bruh. <laughs> he biting them, stabbing them. He's, he's out here going in, man. Still trying to get to Griffith. Griffith is, is gone, bruh. He gone. So, Guts is still fighting for his life. I don't know, man. I'm curious to see how he gets out of this. Because we know he survives this. Right? And who is this saying they're sinking? Farther from the light. Where? Where is this? I think this is Griffin. It's like, where's my body? I'm sinking deep. I don't know who it is that's sinking, but it's somebody. Okay. It's like, oh, are these all the people that are dying? They're like, what is this? Oh, my, bruh. I'm not going to lie, bro. This dude is, he is really going in with these drawings, man. They're beautiful, but at the same time, very scary stuff. Man, look at this, man. The, just the detail alone. You know what I'm saying? Just just very good, man. Um I don't know why these eyes are oh man. I think the is the people that are dying all their debts. I think he's feeling all of their debts, or maybe they're the sacrifice that is going to make him stronger. It's like all their deaths are piercing through me. Yeah, I guess it's Griffith. Yeah. It's like, I wish for it. I killed them. It's strange. I don't feel anything. I'm sinking. What's this? The crystallization of your last tear shed. When suffering so profound as to make someone rip himself apart is confronted... A heart is frozen. Something's there. Behelots. So he sees a bunch of behelots. The imagery is cool. It's like they are splashes. Droplets of ideas that have spilled from this sea to eternity. Summons to the other world. God? So he's like, he's wondering if he sees God. He's asking about God, like God of the abyss. Yeah. All right, Guts is still going in. Lifeblood is the name of this chapter. Lifeblood. Okay. So we got Griffith going in. So he stabs one of them in the back. <laughs> you don't understand, bro. Like I'm sitting here think thinking about this and it's like it's very eerie because in in a, in a certain way I do I do believe that there is a spirit realm that exists outside of what outside of what we see every day i do believe that there is really it's not like i believe in ghosts or any bullshit like that but i do believe that demons exist i do believe that there are spirits out there that try to influence us to do certain things and stuff like that so it's kind of like this is kind of hidden a close to home of the stuff that i believe in and it's like it's mesmerizing it's mesmerizing. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you guys believe. You know what I'm saying? But we're not here to 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 debate belief or whatever the situation is. But I do believe that, you know, we do make choices. You know what I'm saying? Um, that. You know, but I do I do think that we have free will 
and we make choices. But I also believe that situations are put in front of us to make those choices. And it's based on, you know what I'm saying? Like if it's a spiritual influence on you, I do believe that, you know, these situations appear, you know, even though you know that it's wrong because of, you know, that spirit studying you and knowing the the choices that you've made in the past, they present you with this thing to keep you in that, in that loop per se, you know what I'm saying? To keep you doing those things. So you'll never actually ever see the truth. So it's like, I do believe in those things. So it's like, this is hitting home for me now, just seeing this imagery and the artist is doing such a great job of, you know what I'm saying? Of just portraying this. And Guts is being torn apart, man, by these demons. But he's fighting, though. He is fighting. As he's this muscular lobster claw guy. Oh, man. He is fighting. So, you know, somebody looks like somebody's about to eat his head. Nope. He's like, nope. You don't get to he eat me. You know. He's still escaping. Oh, man. Guts is trying to kill all these demons, bro. He don't care. He's trying to kill every single one of them. And he's going in. He falls. He's falling. Oh, man. He hit the deck again. Bloody. Bloody. He's like, blood? Man. Damn. Damn, the imagery, man. The imagery is beautiful, and I like it. You know, him falling, getting up, screaming out. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know, you got to be asking yourself, what is this? You know what I'm saying? Because, ah, oh, man. He's like, ah, ah. Isn't anyone, isn't anyone still alive? Judo, Pippin, Quarkus, Raiders. God, oh, man, he can't even say her name. He's like, Captain, oh, somebody's still there. And he's lost an arm. He's like, that's you, isn't it? Over there, Gaston, Gaston, you're all right? Uh, I don't feel all right. He's like, what's the word? The Raiders, where are the other survivors? And he's like, I don't know. I was too busy running around. Next thing I knew, I'm like this. I don't know what happened to the others. Captain, what the hell's going on here? What do you think? What do you think? All this, it don't seem real. It's like we're in the middle of some dream someone's having. Thinking about it, ever since that Zod monster showed up in front of us, it's felt like something's been off. I'm sure that since that time, we've been dragged into something strange. Gaston, that's enough. Stop talking because he started to cough for blood. It's like, nah, maybe the band of the hawk itself was... For a regular guy like me, those days were too grand, too vivid. After the victory parties... Things always seem so sad for some reason. Like when I opened my eyes in the morning, it had all up and vanished. That's how it felt. Everything about Boss Griffith as a person was just too different from us. Just like he was someone out of a legend. And we got pulled into the middle of some crazy story someone wrote. Looks like I'm just a minor character. And he's a like, Gaston, yeah, and he just, he dies. Oh, man. It's like, cut the crap. We can't let a place like this. Uh, what? What in the, what is this? How his head just explode like that? What? How? Why did his head just explode like that? 
Bruh. Or is he turn? Oh, there was a demon inside of him? Bro. And he's running away. And Guts picks up the sword. And stabs at him. Oh, man, this is crazy. So, Gaston. Guts is just sitting over the body. And then something appeared. Is that Pippin? Yeah, it's Pippin. It says, I Pippin. Pippin, you're all. I don't think that's Pippin anymore. Bruh. It's back. My my heart rate is ridiculously high right now because this is surreal. It's surreal and the drawing is not helping. <laughs> you know what I mean? The drawings are not helping. It's, his entire back is gone. It's gone. It's, it's gone. I think he's being controlled. Oh, my God. So, ah, oh, he just get ripped right in front of him, bro. Oh, my God. By this dude. I think this is the, um, this is one of the God hand. I think if I'm not mistaken, this is the one that, um, this is the one that, that will, um, by the, the count, I think back in the. That guts fought back in the day. I mean, in the flash forward we got at the beginning. <sighs> Pippin is gone too. Bruh. It's crazy, man. Alright, so he, he, he attacks guts. Knocks guts down. I think he's one of the lesser demons. Um, this this one, I know they've we've met him before. I don't think maybe he's like a a sub of one of them. I'm not sure. This is crazy, man. Look at this, and they eaten Pippin. I think. Or oh my god, Corcus got eaten. They're holding up. Bro, this is uh Ooh, I'm super uncomfortable, bro. Super uncomfortable. Look at this. They're just holding up his friends. Damn. Guts going rage mode. He's like bastards. Oh, no. Not Casca, bro. I know she got up at the end of the chapter but I oh man oh my god bro this is not cool okay so they they got Casca too are they keeping her alive Guts rages. He rages and he going in. He going in. They all attack at once. He took out a bunch of them. Still cutting. He going rage mode right now. He don't care about nothing. He's trying to get the Casca, man. Because I think she's still alive. Bruh. They're about to rape the shit out of Costco, man. Like, look at this shit. Oh, my God. He's raging. What is that? Oh, damn. They got his arm. Oh, so that's how he lost his arm. So that's how he lost his arm. 
Okay. Oh, man, they are messing with him now. So what are they going to do to Costco now? Because I don't even know why why this is happening in the first place. Like, why do they have her still alive? I don't get it. Maybe they know that she means something to him. How would they know that? You know? How would they know that? Not the 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 fist is closed now. It's not open anymore. Oh, here comes Griffith. All right, so we have the emergence of Griffith now. So it's like the birth, the fifth blessed king, the new demon king. Void, Slan, Ubik, Conrad. Okay, so now we get the names. I'm going to take a picture of that because I know I'm not going to remember their names with the faces, but I didn't mention it at one time. So I'm going to take a quick picture of this. So bear with me. <laughs> bear with me, guys. I'm taking a picture really quick of this. You might not have seen it on the camera. Let me get their faces in there. I'm guessing that's got to, that, those are the names, right? I'm guessing these are the names, right? Slan, Void, Ubik, and Conrad. All right. Thou art our extension, our new kinsman to wear the mantle of evil. The wings of darkness, Femto. So that's what they're going to call Griffith, Femto. So I'm taking pictures of this because... Um, It'll help me to remember the names later where I don't have to go back to the chapter itself and find the page. So, okay, so we got Femto, Wings of Darkness, Femto. We got Griffith emerging, emerging as Guts watches, right? Look at him. Is he going to be... Because they did call him. Is he going to be the new ruler? Wear the, I mean, they said he's going to wear the mantle, right? So, yeah. Take another picture of that. Okay. They called him the fifth blessed king, right? Thou art our extension, our new kinsman to wear the mantle of evil, the wings of darkness, Femto. Okay. He looks saucy. I'm not going to lie. I mean, from the first time we saw him, he looked saucy. But I was wondering who the hell Griffith is, right? So he steps down with... You know, Gut's arm is still inside the demon's mouth. The imagery, man. Beautiful drawings. Beautiful drawings. Eerie. <sighs> Bruh. <sighs> Damn. He's like a hawk, too. If you, if you kind of look at it like that, he's like a hawk. You know what I mean? He got the wings and he got the the mask or I don't think he's a mask anymore. <laughs> so and Guts says, Griffith. He's wondering, is that still him? I no, it's not. <laughs> you know? Sound of silence. Seems like all these demons are bowing to him too, you know what I mean? That's crazy. 
So it's like, Grr. and then something comes down. I think this is Casca he's bringing down. Yep, it is. <sighs> Bruh. Oh, uh, she did get the brand. First time I'm seeing it. I think I did. I think I saw it like in a couple of a couple of chapters ago. I think I did see it, but it didn't show it clearly. I think I saw the marking. I didn't I didn't point it out. So now I know she got the brand, too. So I was wondering if she did get one, but she did. So this man is over here just feeling up on her. You know what I'm saying? This is weird. You know what I'm saying? This is very weird. Are you serious right now? But he's got to sit there and watch this. What is he doing? Is he just going to molest her? So, Gut's arm is being freaking... Is he pulling his arm out of the, the demon's mouth? I think that's what he's doing. I think he's pulling his arm out. Bruh. I think Guts is pulling his arm out of the demon's mouth right now, bro. Like ripping his arm apart to get away. Bruh. And Griffith is here feel molesting the shit out of Casca right now. Are you serious, bruh? He is going in. Bro, what is this? So she's like, what? Okay, I am confused because I think I I think she's liking it. I don't know. Okay, so he kisses her. So he he kisses her and Guts is still trying to get his arm out. Bro, respect my guy. Yo, Guts is like, yo, fuck this. He is cutting his arm off. He breaks the sword. And now he is cutting his arm. He's like, yo, let me go or I'm going to cut my arm off. Savage. And the God hand is just there, just laughing and junk. Did he get his arm out? Oh, so she says no. She says no. Yo. Guts is cutting his arm arm off to get out of this because bro you know what that is man to sit there and watch your girl get raped bro that's gotta be traumatic that's gotta be rage inducing like you don't understand bro yo guts he finally got his arm out He's like, yo, Griffin, yo, I, yo, mm. bruh, this dude is going in on Casca, raping the shit out of her, bro, oh my god, bruh, like, this, this is not cool at all, Griffin can go fuck himself now. I uh, serious like he he fully gone he gone now I can't I can't root for him anymore I can't I, he's gone he's gone he a demon now 
It's not Griffith that we know anymore, that's for sure. Guts is raging. He is raging. After glow of the right eye. Name of the chapter. Okay. So Guts cuts his arm off. And he is going to try to get over there. And they stop him. They stop him. Oh my god. Yes. Watch this, bro. I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to think. I don't know. I, I, I don't think she's liking this at all. Because at first it kind of looks like she's kind of liking it. But I don't know. I don't know what to think. Based on the captions, it's, a, it's just like, you know what I'm saying? Like the oohs and ahs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I don't know. You know what I mean? It's looking at her. Bruh. It's like such beauty. It touches me. Love, hatred, pain, pleasure, life. D this, I know this bitch is not over here crying. All are there. This is to be human. This is to be evil. That is kind of, it's kind of weird that sh that contrast is there. This is to be human. This is to be evil. That's crazy. You know. This is crazy. Bruh. This man is going in, my guy. Looking dead straight in. Oh, my God. Bruh. He is not. Oh, um, bruh. What? She is screaming. No. Ah, oh, man. Bruh, she out here getting raped by alien, bruh. This is not cool. This is not cool. She keeps saying no. And she doesn't, he does not care one bit about her anymore. That's for sure. He gone full on evil. And Griffith, I hope one day Guts gets to cut his head off, honestly. <laughs> I hope one day. He gets to cut that head off. He has to get that, that chance. And she's saying to him, don't look. Tch. Bruh. Tch. Are they prying his eye open? Like keeping his eye open. He starts to cry. Bruh. Ah. Rage inducing, man. Bruh. Oh, what is this? Why is Skeleton Man over here? Oh, he is here where they are. Wait a second. Are these guys? Are these guys trying to take these guys out? Wait a minute. Why is he here? He tries to take this guy out. He creates a portal over his head. What is going on here? Why are they fighting? Bruh. 
After glow of the right high. Okay. We're going to take a break here. Come back for the next part. Alright. Welcome back guys. We're going to jump into the next chapter. Why is this guy attacking. Um, this other dude. Escape. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. So I'm taking a good look at the panels. Okay, so he he attacks that dude, and it seems like the dude blocked it, and then now he's heading down the the, the hand. They try to attack him. He takes them out. Easy. Just chopping. He's getting down there. Is he going after Griffith? Bruh. So Griffith seems like Griffith saw him. And then he, he clenches his fist. He clenches his fist and what happened here? Okay. Did he kill all of these guys just now? Or did, I think he just chopped off a bunch of heads by clenching his fists and just put them in the in the skeleton dude's way or something. Oh, bruh, what? Bruh. Squish. Some squishy sounds. So he's like looking at his hand like, whoa, I got this kind of power. Bruh, look at this. So the skeleton dude, oh, he grabs Guts and Casca. Okay. So he tries again. Griffith tries again. Look like he's trying to, to kill Guts. Ah, but he got, um, dude went through a portal. Before he could do anything. So it's like. So the God hand is talking now. They're like astounding. Fascinating. Out unforeseen. An unpredictable thing happens at the temporal junction point. Albeit. An extremely minute thing. It's impossible to anticipate everything. We ourselves are not gods after all. You could have fooled me. You called yourself the God hand. <laughs> Or else this too was fated to happen. Either way, the leaping of one fish would never disturb the flow of the river. And time has again begun to flow, or the fifth angel has been born. The time of darkness descends, wickedness, sacredness, illusion, reality, hatred, love, hostility, hope, the dead, the living, an age when every darkness shall eclipse light, yes, as when the moon covers the light of the sun. I suppose that's what people will call it afterwards. The Age of Darkness. Damn, Nesferatu got defeated, but... Oh. He picked his arm up and put it back on, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> Rickert is watching, he's like, Amazing. <laughs> Shit, I would think it's amazing to think someone could match. No, he fought even better than Zod. I want to know why this dude saved. Why did he come and save Guts and and um and Costco? Why? And why wasn't Zod trying to do this? That's what I'm trying to say. Like, is 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 um. Is the skeleton knight the real MVP? You know what I'm saying? Is he the real MVP? Is he the one I should be, you know, looking forward to? So he comes back through the portal right in front of them, right in front of Rickard, right? And...
right? He's like, Guts, Casca. Why did he rescue them? He's like, hmm. So he's looking at Rickert. It looked like he's going to give them to Rickert. He's like, these two are not yet destined to die. Okay. He throws... <laughs> He throws them at him, <laughs> at Rickard. It's like, there is no time. See to their wounds. They're in terrible shape. What the heck? Where, where are the others? It's like, hurry. He's like, yes, sir. See, see, <laughs> like, see to their wounds. How? Oh, yeah, this. Oh, he got the fairy dust, right? He must have got the fairy dust. But is Nosferatu and Skeleton Knight friends? That's what I want to know. Are they like buddies? Like, there's they, they say that they're rivals. Why were they fighting? You know, are they were they fighting to see who go save the the peoples? I don't know. Like that was very strange that they were fighting. Were they just having a sparring match? Like what was going on? It's like, it's like never mind this. Continue. It's like if you say so. <laughs> Says, like, don't think that what just happened settled anything, says Zod. He's like, of course not. But, immortal, consider delaying our battle. And Zod says, what nonsense. That man from the eclipse, you mean that he survived? Looking at Guts. He's like, <laughs> so he starts laughing. He's like, interesting. Very well, we'll put this fight on hold for the sake of his mad luck. No, I ought to say bad luck. But don't forget, this doesn't decide the outcome of our battle. Why are you guys fighting? <laughs> I don't know. Why did the Skeleton Knight go save Guts because they're not fated to die? Why did he go and save them? You know what I mean? I'm confused. You should... So Zod says, you should hurry. Once the gate vanishes, they'll, they'll all pour out. And he's like, are you done? For, for, for now, this medicine's incredible. The bleeding stopped before I knew it. Ah, you mustn't move them yet. So he picks them up. He picks them up <laughs> right away. He's like, hey, what in the world's happening inside that whirlwind? Is the band of the hawk everyone else inside? It's like no one is left. No one. So Rickert is like, huh? It's like, and this, he says to Rickert, this too is connected. Will you come? He's like, of course, I can't leave Guts and Casca like this. But, um, but the others, <laughs> he just picks him up and puts him on the horse. He's like, let's get it, man. We out here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so he like dips. He's like, so he, so Zod is like laid back. He's like, so he survived the eclipse. Interesting. Show me now how it is Zeus struggle as no more than a man through the world of darkness in the wilderness of the dead that extends before you. Branded swordsman. <laughs> That's cool. Awakening to a nightmare. Okay. So we got. This is a flashback. Where's everybody going? Stop right now. It's like, don't go that way. That way's bad news. Judo, Quercus, Pippin. Don't go. I think, I think, yeah, Guts is having a dream. He's having a dream. He is dreaming. It looks like Casca is taking care of him. Or not. That's not Casca. Who is that? So he's like, who's there? It's like a guts, you're awake. This <laughs> falls over. Starts crying. It's a kid. It's like Erica? 
oh erica you slipped because you ran too fast so who is this rickard okay so rickard and erica i don't know who, why is this it's like rickard why good guts you're awake now i thought maybe it was too late you haven't moved at all in four days so guts asks, where am i where why are you two together and like these are the hills near my home and this is that is orc cave or is it or or orc It's like orc she says orc cave and rickard corrects her and says or cave okay so you all surprised us good rickrit here shows up all of a sudden and says he has injured people then we looked and it was you guts Rickard is like, I was surprised too. I never thought you guys already knew Guts. Oh, so they already knew him. Yeah, because ain't this the little girl? Yeah, I remember when he had the flashback. I think it was in the last volume. He had a he had a flashback of... No, it wasn't in the last volume. It was probably like two volumes ago. Where he had the flashback of him talking to this to this dude and and his daughter well it wasn't really talking to the daughter it was talking to the guy the guy was like you know i don't remember the conversation but i think that's who these are these people are the, the people that he was with when he was away from the band of the hawk and he met this old dude or whatever so it's like this weird night he brought us all here night it's like so many strange things are happening i don't know what's what Hey, what the heck happened inside that whirlwind? It's like Griffith's rescue, these injuries, what what happened to the others? Rickard's asking a lot of questions. And Gut says, others? No, no, no. So he gets up, he sits up. And they're like, um, it must hurt. You shouldn't move yet. So Guts grabs Rickard. <laughs> And he's like, where's Casca? And he's like, Casca, um, where? If you want to see Casca, she's over there. Okay, so she's okay. She's like out here just bathing in a waterfall or whatever. He's like, Cos um, Casca. So she turns around. She tries to reach for him. I mean, he tries to reach for her. And she she pulls away. She pulls away. And looks at him. She's like, Costco, wh what's with you? That's enough. It's over now. She is... She's probably going to have PTSD, bro. Like... She got raped. You know what I'm saying? Like, she doesn't understand. She doesn't even know you, Guts. She's lost her mind. So it's like, this is no time for joking around. Cos, oh my God. She bites him and runs away. It's like, oh, dear, dear. Yes, he's a scary, scary man. He's trying to comfort Casca. Casca's like a child right now. He's like, shame on you, Guts. You shouldn't bully Casca. He's like, and you're going to catch a cold if you keep going in the water with your clothes on. She's been that way ever since she woke up two days ago. Her bodily injuries have healed already. But she doesn't understand. She doesn't remember. Not you. Not me. The only one she trusts is Erica. So Guts tries to call out to her again. Oh man. It's like. he Guts walks away. He's like where do you mean to go? In that shape. Says Rickard. He's crying again. Or he's bleeding. His eye is bleeding. That he, the bandage. Okay. Oh, guts. Stop. You can't push yourself. It could do you in. B 
Besides, you're not supposed to go outside no matter what. He said so. <sighs> Awakening to a nightmare, man. Okay, so we got next chapter here. Guts is running out of the cave. He gets outside and he started crying out. Rips the bandage off. To sprint. Runs. He's remembering Jado. Everybody. You know what I'm saying? Damn, he's just running. Just running. Even Corcus, he's remembering, man. Everybody. Pippin. All of them. You know what I'm saying? All the friends. The times with the band of the hawk. All the memories. Griffith, too. He's remembering everything right now. You know what I'm saying? But he, he just runs out into the field. I feel you, bro. I feel you right now, man. That image. Letting the rain just fall on him. And then the brand starts bleeding. And he's like, what? And he's like, what? More of that nightmare again? It's like, you should take heed. So I'm guessing the skeleton knight. Yeah, the skeleton knight appears. And he's like, from now on, this is your world. The boundary between the mortal world and that of the dead. The interstice. The interstice. Okay. Vow for retaliation. Okay. The boundary between the mortal world and that of the dead. The interstice. So he's like, he's the one from that time. It's like, use this. Oh, he gave him a sword. He gave him a sword. Okay. He's like, use this. And he's like, what's with this sword? It's a special sword he gave him? Okay. So he's like tackling these demons. So we all know that when he's, when demons are close by, the brand starts bleeding. So... We know that from the beginning chapter um, volumes that we did. So it's like, what is this? The response like cutting through water. This responds like cutting through water. These are the dead spirits that roam about this place. Being dead, they now cling to life. They have swarmed together in their desire for your warm flesh and blood. The brand of sacrifice. The, the brand of sacrifice. It has drawn those of, of darkness. Blood. Life. Give me life. That's what they're saying. So Guts is chopping them down. And they're saying let us in. Let us let you into what? Let us in. Inside you? What? So because he has the brand, so because he has the brand, right? The brand of sacrifice, as they call it. So because he has the brand, evil spirits just want to live inside of him? Or it's their connection to hell, I guess? Let us inside this body. It's like, uh, trying to shake them off. He's like, Steal yourself, otherwise you will be haunted to your death. After all, to them you are a torch, you are a torch tossed into the darkness. No doubt, you shine through brilliantly for them. This is the reality that you must walk through from here on, a world invisible to eyes of the flesh. You must stand in the interval between two worlds that while mutually significant do not make contact with each other so he's kind of like living in limbo you know what i'm saying in a physical world kind of i don't know <laughs> maybe <laughs> it's like why 
It's like that is the destiny of those who receive the brand of sacrifice. Your body and every last drop of blood in it has been given as an offering to those of the darkness. The guts is like destiny. Destiny. Shut the hell up. <laughs> oh my God. He don't want to hear nothing about that, man. You know what I'm saying? So he swings. It's like, how about you save your high and mighty crap for after have been haunted to death, skull face? It's like sacrifice, offering, destiny. Quit spouting out a bunch of cryptic explanations. The point is, this is war. It ain't different from any other war. The last one standing wins. Listen up. I'm beating. Oh, okay, I'm not. I'm beating all of you back down to hell. Tell those ugly pace, pale faced bastards for me. If I get hit, I will hit back. Tell them, leaving me half eaten is going to be the end of you. I'll hunt and kill all those wretched monsters and all of you down to the last one. This is my war declaration. Should anyone trample that dream, he would oppose him body and soul. Even if the threat were, hmm, the struggler indeed. This strength is unmistakably the reason he survived the eclipse. Says the skeleton knight. All right, so we got Gutsau here declaring war. It's like, what? It's over already? And he's like, wrong. They have found it. Another torch. Torch? Ugh. More cryptic crap. <laughs> you know, it's like Casca is like, okay. So it's like, you got to lend me that horse for a bit, pal. It's like, well, hurry it up. <laughs> Wait, why? So, it's, so it's this, the skeleton knight grabs him and puts him on the horse. It's like, whoa. <laughs> This is no, this is now twice that I've carried you. Do not be thrown. Vow of retaliation. Okay. So, uh, man. Okay. So what do I think? What do I think? Thank you guys so much, by the way, for listening to my annoying voice for the last, I want to say hour and a half. It's, 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 it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, man. It, it's. I'm going to talk about a lot of this in the review. So make sure you go back and check out the review, guys. So thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you leave your comments, whether it's on Patreon, whether it's on um, um, YouTube. Um, make sure you guys go ahead and check the review out when it comes out on YouTube, of course. I'm probably going to put these out at the same time. Hope you Patreon guys are not mad at me for not giving you guys early access for this one. But that's because this was due back last week. And because of all the problems I was having, it, that's why I'm probably going to put it out at the same time. You guys might probably have access to it a couple of hours extra because this might be like late Monday night, early Tuesday morning ish that YouTube is going to have it because usually it's easier for me to just give you guys the link on Patreon first. Um, so if you see this come out like, you know, 12 hours after on YouTube, hope you guys are not mad at that. But anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, if you want to support your guy, make sure you go ahead, man, and check out this. Make sure you go out and check out the review. Thank you guys for all the support. Make sure you leave a like on the post and also comment in the comment section. Okay. Thank you guys for tuning in. See you guys for the review. All right. So Berserk Volume 13 was something to behold. I found myself. 
I found myself a lot of times just just wondering if I'm doing this the right way. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm wondering if I'm doing this the right way. You know, because I'm enjoying this manga so much because it represents so many things that I I know I've never said this before, but I said it during the read through that this is something that it hits very close to home for me because this is stuff that I actually believe in. It's not necessarily like the God hand or anything like that by name, but I do believe that there are demons. I do believe that a spirit realm exists. Not that I believe in ghosts. I don't believe that people who are dead haunt people and stuff. Like that. I don't believe in like, like that. I, no. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about there's a spirit realm that exists that do there. There's just like, I'm not saying that demons are out there pulling your strings or anything like that, but I do believe a spirit realm exists. So this was kind of hitting close to home for me because it was so vivid. You get what I'm saying? From the portrayal and stuff like that, I do believe that stuff like this happened. There's a battle between good and evil happening in the spirit realm, and we're just, I, I, I feel like it's there, and... I feel like it it affects how we live somehow, some way. I'm just not, I don't, not sure how it does. But I do think that there are demons out there that try to influence us as human beings to do things. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? And it's up to you to make the decision if you're going to do the right thing or the wrong thing or, you know, whatever the situation is. So... That's just my belief. I'm not here to discuss religion or anything like that or our beliefs. I'm just letting you know that that's why it was kind of hitting home for me when I was reading it. And sometimes I find myself dumbfounded because, um, you know, because of how vivid it was. And it's, you know, it's certain like you see certain images in, in your life. But the thing about it, like, I don't believe that demons are ugly like that. You get what I'm saying? Like, in that certain sense where they're ugly, they're misformed and all this other stuff. I feel like demons are how here they, they can look like us. You know what I mean? They can look like us, you know, I'm just saying, <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I know I may may coming off kind of stupid and I don't look dumb. And you might be looking at me and be like, this guy believes in ghosts, you know? <laughs> believes in stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to sit here and lie to y'all and make it seem like, you know, I don't believe that there a spirit realm does exist. But let's talk about these chapters, man. Let's talk about these 11 chapters that we just read. Very interesting. The emergence of Griffith um, being the fifth one. Um, so let me um, go back here and look at the names. That's why I took the photos. You know, they call him Fem. Femto, Femto, F E M T O. Um, and also, we learned names of the, the other four, which is Conrad, Ubik, Slan, and Void. Okay, so they opened up the volume, you know, right where we left off in volume 12, where we had the Skeleton Knight going up against Zod, right? And we also confirmed that that is Rickard he survived what had happened we whole band of the hawk got so maybe this is the reason I think the skeleton knight put in two and two together here I think the skeleton knight because it was him and his crew that took out the rest of the band of the hawk right so he left Rickard alive because I'm wondering how he survived he left Rickard alive so that he will be able to take care of Guts and Casca in the end because he probably knew that that was going to happen and knew was he was going to jump in and rescue Guts so maybe he can foresee the future who knows a lot of them know of these prophecies and stuff like that um so you know it, it, I mean Zod and him you know as handed out prophecies in the past so I think they kind of have an inkling of what the future is going to be so yeah, Mr. Femto himself appeared, so he's not Griffith anymore. I'm not calling him Griffith because he's not a good guy anymore. Not in my eyes. So if you want to say he's saucy, I still think I think his design is very nice and is very good. I like his design um, for his demon form, him being the fifth member, Femto with the wings of darkness or whatever they call it. So I'm down with that. Um, but in other case, what he did to Casca that's a no-no. I'm I'm not into I'm not into that stuff 
you know what the, f the funny thing about it is that like if it was consensual fine but it's not she he raped Casca right in front of guts too and some of the times you'd be wondering like you might be looking at it and saying man the author really went all out you know what i'm saying to to it's a very sad scene to watch read whatever but this is the reality of things these things do happen in real life you know you might be looking at it and saying oh it's demons versus humans whatever but these things do happen in real life people do get raped in front of their loved one it happens it might not happen a lot but it happens you get what i'm saying that is a real situation that he drew out in this manga that it could happen not necessarily the you know the demon raping the human or anything like that but that is a real situation that could happen. Another man could be raping your wife while others are holding you down. You get what I'm saying? So it is a possibility. So that kind of resonated with me in such a way where I was like, man, that, you know, that situation could happen to me. It is a possibility that it could happen to me. You relate because you know, these things can happen in real life. And I'm glad that he went as far as to do something like that. I didn't know why they were saving Casca. So you heard me ask, why are they not doing anything to Casca? Why aren't they killing her? But you know, then we found out, Oh, it was for this purpose. Okay. And Griffith just came out and just, she just started going at her. You know what I'm saying? It's like everything in his, he's not there anymore. That is not Griffith anymore. I don't think the Griffith that we've come to know and love would ever do something like that. I think he's completely gone to the dark side and he's not a friend anymore. He's not a friend. I don't consider him a friend. For all I know, one day I want Guts to be able to, to chop his head off that's what i'm hoping for griffith now and i know it seems kind of sudden to go from love to hate but i don't i don't like demons i don't like the idea of them so it's for me it's just like i'll never cheer for demons unless you're like a say for instance if i was supposed to give you an example if you're like a character like like dante right from devil may cry i would cheer for you because the thing about it is that um, if you know the lore behind Devil May Cry, you would understand what I'm saying. I don't want to spoil anything um, if you want to get into that stuff, so I won't say anything. Um, but it's one of my favorite video games of all time. If you've never checked out the Devil May Cry franchise, please go and check out the Devil, Devil May Cry franchise and find out who Dante is. Okay, so if you're that type of character, then I can cheer for you because he's basically a hybrid of you know on a basic term not spoiling anything but he's a hybrid right so he's a he's a human and he's a demon right so he's half he's half human half demon i should say right so there's a lot to explain there so you, you get what i'm saying so he's like fighting he's fighting against demon but he has to use his demon powers right so um so yeah that those kind of people like him, but he Griffith is not the type of demon you root for. He just not. He's just not. Let's just be honest here. Let's just put things into perspective here. He's just not anymore. He's just not that guy anymore. He's not half human, half demon. He's a full fledged demon now. Okay? Full fledged, transformed, emerging. <laughs> okay? All right? So there's no cheering for Griffith anymore, you know, so there's a lot to take in here. And there's a lot that I love about this manga, man. There's a lot that I, that I love about the manga. The, the drawings, spectacular as ever, the, the you know, the portraits, the, the, the portrayal of what he's trying to bring forth cannot be done any better, man, with the imagery. Um, definitely loving that aspect of reading this manga you can't stop praising it because it's so good it takes you away it brings you into the world it it makes you feel so immersed like i felt like i was one of those guys getting killed you know what i'm saying getting eaten by demons you know what i'm saying so judo is gone everybody is gone pippin everybody man all the characters that we've come to know and love is now dead even Griffith in a meta, uh, metaphorical way, he's dead too. 
Um, so yeah, man, I can't sit here and make it seem like I'm happy about what's happening, you know, cause I'm not. And then we have the ending with Casca having, she's basically having it's, um, PTSD of what happened. Like her not having any memory of anybody is like, she has amnesia now. And it's because of that traumatic experience. It happens. I've seen it. I've dealt with it personally. So I know this is this is something that is possible. And that there you go again with another parallel with real life on the stuff that he's writing and doing in this manga. It's just so profound. It's just it's unusual to see these things in manga form. So I'm definitely loving that. Um, so yeah, man, I still want to know the relationship between the 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 deeper part of the relationship between the Skeleton Knight and Zod. I still want to know that. Uh, I know it goes far beyond what I may be thinking. So that's why I'm saying, you know, they're rivals. They're fighting. But why, why are they fighting? Are they just fighting because they're having a sparring match? Because they're, you know, they're buddies, whatever. Or what are they fighting for? You get what I'm saying? Um, why, you know... You know, at this point, you know, Skeleton Knight is the MVP. I started out was like, why did he take? I thought he was like bad. Why did he take out Rickard Screw? Like, why did he take out that part of the band of the Hawk? I don't know. But as I said, maybe he did that because he make and 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 you know, maybe he did that for a purpose. Maybe he, there's got to be a purpose towards it. Okay, so we finally found out how Guts end up with his mechanical arm. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, so we find out how he ends up with his mechanical arm that's also, you know, double as a gun, you know, a shotgun or whatever. So we find out how he did it straight up savage moment, man, of his hand being in that, in, in the demon's mouth. He was trying to pull it out at one point, but then he ultimately decided cause he was trying to save Casca. He ultimately decided to cut his own freaking arm off. Remind <laughs> Reminds me of the Raikage in Naruto, right? When when he went up against Sasuke and his arm, he he got he tried to hit Sasuke, and Sasuke put up the Amaterasu as a defense, and he was like, "Don't underestimate me. I'm still gonna chop that neck, bruh." So he took the heat, hit him. You know what I'm saying? Hit him with the Amaterasu, and then after that, when Gara came, because he was about to do a freaking leg drop kick. On Sasuke, but Sasuke put up the Amaterasu as a defense again with flame control, and he was gonna land right in it. Gara came in and saved him with the sand, and then after that, he just cut his arm off like it was not. <laughs> he was where the Amaterasu was. He just cut his arm off like it was nothing. You know what I'm saying? And be like, hey, stop the bleeding real quick. I'm going back in. You know what I'm saying? So that was a really savage moment. I love moments like that in anime or manga because it shows you that these characters, the strength. The power, the fortitude, everything about these characters is displayed in moments like that. And I love it, man. It's so rage-inducing. I mean, he's there sitting now having to watch the woman that he loves get raped by his friend. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I didn't even think of that right now. I mean, he's literally watching his, basically his best friend rape his woman, bro. Like, that's crazy. Off, off the charts crazy man you know what i'm saying even worse you know so yeah man i don't want to dawdle here too much you know because i'm already like 14 minutes into this review because there's so much in the in in these 11 chapters that was just really cool t to see and to be seen portrayed in the manga man so it's it's really cool it's really cool hate it or love it you got to understand it, right? So, I thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. I can't wait to do the next chapter. Of course, you know we're going to be doing the review of Volume 13 before we jump into Volume 14. So, I thank you guys so much for tuning in. Sorry again, guys, for the delay. This was supposed to be out last week but because of um, I was having internet issues and stuff like that. So, um, it's just one thing after the other. It's just crazy to me. Hopefully, we can have a consistent thing running for the rest of the year. I'm hoping for it. I'm hoping to be able to do my 
schedule consistently every week. It may not be a full schedule, but it, I'll be able to put something out every week. Hopefully, I can put out these read-throughs every week. I'm also going to start a new manga, but I'm a new manga that's supposed to be continued. Um, I'm not going to announce it yet. You guys don't know what it's going to be. Um, just know that it's something um, that I've already watched the, the anime for that I'm going to be continuing. I know a lot of you guys are going to be hyped for it. So whenever that comes around, hopefully I can get back into the lore of that particular um, thing. And we dive into it. People have been asking me about it for a while. So I'm going to be jumping into that manga. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man, you guys are the best. So just remember that your boy is out here trying to do his best for y'all okay remember to subscribe if you're new also leave a like on the video and leave a comment in the comment section your boy will get back to you it's been real you already know